text talker is designed for literate users and includes a number of features to make generating messages really quick and easy. These include word completion and next word prediction for single words and also chat history which offers a really fast way of generating whole phrases. Text talker also gives access to a range of editable pre-stored phrases arranged by category and also banked messages for those who've been able to record specific messages with their own voice. Lastly, Text Talker offers a quick way of temporarily storing and retrieving phrases, which is useful for dealing with interruptions or preparing for conversations in advance. In this video, I'll show you how to use these features so that you can get up and running with Text Talker. The home page is based around a standard QWERTY keyboard. Good. And at the top of the screen is the chat writing area, and that's where messages are composed um, Morning. to speak. The speak cell over here will speak the message out loud. Good morning. And the clear cell will clear the chat writing area ready for the next message. These two rows of cells are prediction cells and each row has a slightly different function. In this row are the swift key word prediction cells. And as you type a word here, it will suggest completions of that word and once you've finished a word, it will also suggest the next word as well. Good. Morning. Like so. The prediction cells will learn your usage over time, so will become more and more accurate. It's worth saying as well that the prediction will be able to accommodate miss hits so if you mistype a word the best thing to do is to carry on typing and allow the prediction to sort that out for you so for example if I were to type the word hello but I happen to hit the R by mistake instead of the E but just carry on typing you can see that even though I've mistyped the word the word I was aiming at is still predicted in this row here hello In the row above are the chat history cells, and these are used to quickly generate entire phrases. The software comes with a large bank of phrases already in there, but with your permission, Grid will also learn every phrase that you ever say and give you a really quick way to say it again. And the key here is not to start at the beginning of the sentence necessarily, but to type the key word of the sentence. So for example, if I wanted to talk about having eggs for breakfast, I could just type EG and immediately in the chat history I've got some suggestions around that particular topic and if it's not in the first three I can click the arrows to scroll through further choices. So each phrase that I speak will be added to my chat history. So let's enter a phrase about how I like my coffee. So I'm going to need that a lot. Cappuccino with an extra shot. Cappuccino with an extra shot, please. I'm going to clear that now. Now that phrase is already appearing here in my chat history because that is the most recent phrase that I used, but if I want to ever bring that phrase up again, all I'll need to do is to start to type the word cappuccino. You can see that's my customized phrase. And this was one that was already in the phrase bank. Of course, there may be times when you don't want the phrases that you're speaking to be added to your chat history, because you don't want them to pop up in those prediction cells um, later on. So the way around that is to quickly go into settings, which is at the bottom of the keyboard here. And then just click on private mode, and you'll see that that changes color just to, to indicate that private mo mode has been enabled. And from now on, any phrases that I type won't be added to my chat history until I go back 
to settings and turn private mode off again. It's also possible that you may forget to turn on private mode and you need to go back and edit what's in your chat history um, to prevent a phrase from appearing in there. I'll give you an example of that. Um, if I start typing party, you can see that uh, I've previously said the phrase, are you going to Fred's surprise birthday party? Now it might be that I'm, if I'm meeting up with Fred, that I just want to make sure that that doesn't appear and spoil the surprise. So in order to manage that, I can go again into settings and here click manage chat history. I can then select remove and then click on the phrase that I want to get rid of. So the last thing that I want to show you on the standard keyboard page is what to do if you accidentally delete a message that you were in the middle of typing. Here is my So let's imagine that I accidentally clear that. I don't want to have to type it again. What I can do is go down to settings again and then just choose undo clear. That'll bring my message back and it jumps me back into the keyboard. So hopefully, hopefully you've seen how quick and easy it is to create messages using the keyboard. But there are times when you want to just go to a, a message that's already been stored in advance. Perhaps it's something that you say often or you just need to get it out quickly. And in that case, you would click on the link here to go to quick phrases. And here we have a selection of phrases arranged by category. And these lists of phrases are completely editable. So you can remove any that are in there that you don't need. And also you can easily add phrases of your own. Where do you live? And you can just select them like so. Nice to meet you. And they'll instantly speak when you select them. So I'm going to show you how to add a phrase to the shopping category. So in the shopping category, I'd like uh, to add the phrase, is that your best price? Because I always like to get a bargain. So what I need to do, first of all, is just go back to the keyboard and type that phrase. Is that your best price is that your best price okay so now I've got that message in the chat writing area I can jump back to the quick phrases go into the shopping category and then just click on add and select the cell where you want it to go. And that's it. And if you wanted to remove a phrase, first of all, click remove. And then select the one you want to get rid of. In addition to the named categories, you'll see there are three slots on the left hand side um, named custom one, two and three. And these are just to enable you to put more of your own content in. And the process for adding to those will be exactly the same as we just did for shopping. If you wanted to change the text that appears on one of these custom cells, 
you would need to go into edit mode and change the label to do that. Also from the quick phrases grid, we have a, a jump to the message banking grid. And here you can play back recorded phrases rather than using the synthesized voice. They're arranged by category. So I'm going to click on the category that I want and then on the phrase. How was your day? It's worth noting that whenever this text appears in the chat writing area, Grid will use the recording rather than the synthesized voice. So whether it's from this grid with the auto content cells or whether you type that same phrase from the keyboard or select it from chat history, the recording would be used in all those cases. To add further recordings and to organize your categories, you would go to message banking in speech settings to do that. From here, we can either jump back to quick phrases or if we click on the cross, we will go directly back to the home page. The last feature of Text Talker that I want to show you is how to temporarily store and retrieve messages. So let's imagine I'm halfway through generating a sentence. Here is a message. I'm working. And then I get interrupted and I have to respond to a question, but I don't want to lose this phrase that I've I've been typing because I want to come back to it. So all I need to do is click on store message. And I've got a notification that that's been successfully stored. And the writing area has been cleared for me. So now I can respond to the question. Yes. Yes, two. Two sugars. Okay. Yes, please. Two sugars. Once I've dealt with the interruption, then I want to get back to the phrase that I was working on earlier. So I would just click on retrieve message and select the message that I just stored. And I can carry on with that now. Another potential use for this feature is to prepare in advance for a conversation you know that you're going to be having. And so if I go to retrieve message, you can see here that I put in some phrases related to taking the dog to the vet. So I can, I can store these phrases, have them lined up there. I can use them when required. And then when I'm done with them from this same page, I can click on remove message and select to remove one at a time. Or I can choose to delete them all at once. Just click on the tick to do that. I hope you found this tour of Text Talker to be helpful. On some of the grids, you'll find some more help in the form of information pages. So for example, here on the quick phrases page, I can click on the information cell and get to some brief instructions to help with that. You'll also find a getting started guide on our website at thinksmartbox.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.